South Africans erupted in song, dance, and tears Friday as they celebrated the life and legacy of Nelson Mandela. The anti-apartheid leader who spent 27 years as a political prisoner before becoming South Africa's first black president and icon of freedom across the globe passed away Thursday at the age of 95. Longtime friends like retired Archbishop Desmond Tutu said Mandela taught the world how to unite like no one had before. He has taught us how to come together and to believe in ourselves and each other. Emotions were high across the globe as people gathered to lay flowers, pay tribute and remember a hero for democracy. I came because I feel the pain of losing our father. From Paris to Ramallah to Washington, D.C., flags flew at half-staff in honor of Mandela's life. Makeshift memorials took shape outside embassies and consulates. At the New York Stock Exchange, a moment of silence before the opening bell. In Washington, Hillary Clinton remembered Mandela as a giant among us who showed the world how to respond to injustice and tragedy. Someone who, by the power of his example, demonstrated unequivocally how each of us can choose how we will respond to those injustices and grievances, those sorrows and tragedies that afflict all of humankind. South Africa is planning a series of tributes to Mandela ahead of his state funeral on Sunday, December 15th. The White House says President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama will travel to South Africa next week to pay their respects. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.